guys, this is Christy and, and Ken. Ken. <laughs> Whoa. We are at the Florida State Fairgrounds for the RV Super Show, our favorite event besides Daytona Bike Week. Because <laughs> motorcycles and campers go hand in hand. Yes, you they do. Lifestyle. If you're going to be at all events, you need a camper. So let's go in and check out what they got for 2023. Thank you to Trey Ann, who runs the Florida RV Show Series, for having us here with press passes so we can film this and share it with you guys. So come on in. There's literally hundreds of acres of brand new campers here and we're gonna check out the ones that really catch our eye. This is the largest RV super show in the world and there is literally something for everyone. I mean, uh, all types of camping and adventure. I guess we'll start at the top. The most outlandish and rab outrageous RVs you'll ever see are the Prevost bus conversions and they're right over here on your right. These are for the movie stars and billionaires out there who can afford to drop $3 million on a new coach. These Prevosts are absolutely the standard that all other are judged by. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. Look at this great thing. I want a matching great name. He's a big boy. Wow. Two years old. He's beautiful. 160 pounds. He's a monster. Wow. He's a big boy. He's gorgeous. Here, I'll get him to stand. <laughs> he's got it. What's he, 6'3, 6'4? Six, six, yeah, he's because he's on a lean. How tall are you? I'm six foot and he's on a lean. He's 6'4, six, 6'5 six, then. Wow. He's beautiful. What's his name? Roman. This is a Prevost Millennium Series. Jesus. In the same class as the Prevost is the four travel motor coach. And these are. The fit and finish on these are just fantastic. And the color combos they have, like this one over here, with the blacked out rims and the, the paint jobs are just next level, as you'd expect a million dollar dream rig to be. I mean, these really are as good as it gets. It's a brand new Millennium Coach. Each one of these coaches here is made by a different customizer. They're all Prevost coaches. This one's a marathon coach, which is, they've been around for, geez, gotta be 50 years. Uh, I've seen a lot of these older rigs on the road this is the traditional stainless steel shell as opposed to this one which is the fiberglass shell with a little bit more modern look to it either way they're all fantastic right when you walk in you can see the fit and finish on this rig is absolutely fantastic it's next level granite stainless the dash on this thing is absolutely fantastic i mean this is just next level Fantastic. Massive slide room here. Probably like looks like 17 feet long. Beautiful lighting in the roof. Creek here has a retail price of $2.8 million. So you figure with sales tax, property tax, and insurance, you're gonna drop a cool three million. So this is for the no, Uber Rich who you uh you know you get who's gonna spend three million dollars on a coach? You gotta have a hundred million dollars in the bank to buy something like this. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, hey, it has an elephant with a trunk up. That's pretty cool. The trunk's got a, my grandma used to collect those. That's awesome. It's fantastic. Look at this. Washer and dryer. If you just look at it, huge LED TV. And these are built, these are built, these are million mile chassis, just like buying a, a semi truck, like a Kenworth or a Volvo or something. This is just fantastic. Oh my god. All granite, corian, and real wood finishes. Just fantastic. Just a beautiful machine. Well done. Well done. Hey, my honey. She want to take her like shoes off. They're all laced up. This is Casey from Mar Marathon Coach. I asked him to give us a brief rundown on this rig. What can you tell me about it? Yes, yeah, so this is a 2023 uh, Marathon X345. So this is Prevost's new X chassis. Um, and we've got uh, a double slide coach built here. Obviously, as you can see, um, really nice colors. This rich and dark brown leathers, the bamboo wood floor. Uh, it's a nice open salon, large sofa with a jenny lounge. This does have a bath and a half in it, so the guest baths up front. For guests to use it all aboard the coach. Full master bath is for 
further down the halls we can walk through and see. I already, I already went through the whole coach. I got okay. a nice video of it. What are these seats made out of? These are just leather, leather seats. And that insert on the center, is, is that an alligator or something? Yeah, it's a, it's a full alligator. Full alligator. It's just they're absolutely fantastic. What, en what engine does it have? These uh, rerun their Volvo D13. D13? Yeah. So you cruise all day long at 80, 85 miles an hour? <laughs> they, they could. They're governed at 75, but they do cruise really well down the highway. It's a stunning machine. Thank you for sharing it with yes, us. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Have a great day. It looks one, two, three, four of them are the new style. I think they call that the XL versus the uh, the one we were just in. Now we got Featherlight over style. here. This is made by Featherlight. They're the company that does all the rigs for NASCAR, all the uh, stackers. This is a beautiful, it's an H3. Yeah, that's what this is called, the H3 45 foot VIP. Just beautiful. What a machine. Well, what are the looking so stuff that us normal folks might be able to afford? <laughs> yes, I think that would be <laughs> much more to our wanna, speed. After we start off with this, everything. Oh, here's another beautiful dog. I don't know. Everything but probably kind of kind of pales in comparison, but I'm not sure I'd want to bring that to a dirt bike track. Nonetheless, it's starting the machine. Band. So guys, if a, if a $2.8 million coach seems a little outrageous, well, you can step down to this one for $999,000 and you're gonna save $459,000 because it's on sale. So a cool half a million dollars off for the show. Can't beat that. Paint job on this thing is outrageous. It's got the red underletting. There's a blue one. These are American Racing Coach Series wheels that they make for these million dollar rigs. They're not just for your pickup truck anymore. You gotta admit the black, the Michelin's looks pretty fantastic. We've got the whole camper van line up here by Pleasure Way. Airstream is here in a big way. They've got all their traditional coaches, campers, and also the more mod, this is a traditional. What, yeah. What they, they've been making these since the 60s. Considered to be one of the, best, this is called the Flying Cloud. It looks like a replica of an old one, kind of like a Harley Davidson Heritage. But um, this is $132,000 MSRP. The prices of everything has kind of got off the hook, but look at the quality of the door. Just Yeah, they, they do have amazing quality, the Airstream. They, that's what they're known for. It is beautiful. And these hold their value probably more than a, a, a traditional camper would. Uh, the, the ones from the 60s well, and 70s were stored are worth a lot of money they're generational yeah sure. you think so you think it would be um, they look really well built you get 30 year financing on rvs and uh end up with a payment payment of nine nine hundred forty nine dollars a month not something i suggest doing but if you wanted to you could it's a 30 foot unit with no slide rooms but it has a nice comfortable bedroom set up here it looks very livable and easy yeah. to tow One. So this is the now um, another version that Airstream, a more modern, uh, even than what they had before. But the off-road tires, you you can tow this thing and go anywhere with it. Definitely cool. This is called the Base Camp 20X. This one's sixty-four thousand dollars. Got like a rear access door on it. Very cool. Really nice. You know, when it comes to RVs, bigger isn't always better. I've had pretty much every style RV you could possibly imagine. The tiny pop-top campers, which is the first one that Christy and I had about four years ago, was a pop-out camper yeah. about this size, and we loved it. Uh, the only reason we upgraded to the 32-footer is Uncle Dale uh, gave us a deal we could not refuse on it. So we ran the, the black and orange Featherlight for a few years, and now we've upgraded to the, the big four slide toy hauler because we spent like three months every winter in it and uh travel the, the race circuit go to all the shows I mean, we we really need an rv and a lot of the guys that do the lifestyle we do which is we're at daytona for two weeks we're at laconia for a week we're at americade for a week that's a month right there then you've got all the, the, the outdoor nationals that we go to and, and the vintage races and uh, coming down here for the winter so we spend we can justify it because we spent several months 
And it's not like you can rent rent a place down south because we're traveling to a bunch of different locations. Yeah, we move all around. I mean, we really don't sit still. Very rarely. You know, we we. It's funny. Everyone makes reservations for campgrounds and stuff, and we're on the move. We're not at one long enough. That's a fact. And we never know when we're gonna be where we are. Sometimes we just pop up there and stuff is going on. These are beautiful. These airstream. Vans, van campers, really nice, super modern looking, and it's built on a Mercedes diesel chassis with four wheel drive, so not only will it go anywhere, but it'll probably last, you know, you can get a, a couple hundred thousand, quarter million miles out of one of these for you, don't have any problems. It's a little small one, that's, eight, that's an $80,000 rig, I guess when you look at the price of a new Harley CVO at 50000 I guess this, this is kind of makes sense, but... <laughs> It's very small. <laughs> Beauty of coming to a show like this is you can see all the different styles of campers and figure out what it is you like. That's what we did. And you know, that's how we ended up with our DRV. One of the biggest things I'm always looking at floor plans. What is the best floor plan that works for both of us and functional? And there's a million different options. There's so many. This one right here is two hundred thousand dollars, one hundred ninety thousand. For that, you get nice Corian counters, leather seats, all aluminum construction. Looks like it's built for the long haul. Really nice switch housings, quality construction. I guess when you look at the price, it was one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. When you can see why the older ones are stored, they're bringing so much money because the new ones are, you know, it's, it's an fun. investment. There's a this one's got a barbecue in the back, slide out barbecue, and some nice storage. And it's got a big slide room on it. Make it nice and roomy on the inside. So literally, there is thousands of vendors at the Super Show. If you're in need of something, if you want to do upgrades or anything to your, your camper or just looking to do other options with it, this is amazing. Because you're, you know, say the kids are not there now, you got, it's just you, then you can do whatever changes you want to your camper. There's, this is, uh, this is you can buy jewelry. <laughs> they even have jewelry if you want to buy a honey something shiny here. But the vendors like More Ride, these guys yeah. are, these guys are a standard in the industry. Most new rigs come with their stuff and they have all their latest additions like slide out barbecues. Um, the uh, step system that they have over here, the flip-up step system. This, these are all things that can be retrofitted along with handrails for your camper if you want to upgrade it. It's all available, not just brand new, but from the aftermarket also. Every different kind of cleaning device you could imagine for your RV they have here and all the silicone yeah, shines and polishes and everything else from vendors like these guys for viable products. Hugs are welcome here, as you can see. Hi! Want to find out the best campgrounds yes. in the area? Oh, There's all kinds of information about that. We're here at the Flitz polishing booth. We had a little discoloration on our rim. So uh, if you want to buy products at the show here to maintain your RV, this is a place to go. You got everything here. So how does this work? We put it on nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll do it a little differently. make the magic happen. Turns it nice and black and then you wipe it off and it's like chrome, right? Yeah. Would you look at that? Oh, you there you go. It's it's fantastic. And then your place is just packed. This is got a pocket pal there. Hello, pocket pal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Hi, bite. Don't come any closer. If you need a new hitch, these are the guys to go see. BW. They've got everything you'll ever need from uh, adjustable ball hitches, fifth wheel hitches, you name it. You never know when you need cell phone accessories when you're camping. Our so team. Christy, you're picking but on a new couch here. Christy. Wait, Wes. You're, you're on camera. You're picking I, on a new couch. Which, I'm like going over what, what our needs are and see if they can accommodate. You find one you like? Don't walk in the frame. You look pretty comfy. You look pretty comfy. <laughs> it is. It's very comfortable. 
So stay tuned. Our next stop is Lazy Days RV. We're going to be there for a couple days and shoot some videos with those guys on the largest RV store in the United States. Discover your happy place. So that's it for the inside of the Expo Center. I'm going to check out the outside now. Probably start a new video here in a second, but this is absolutely massive. It's got to be 100 acres of RVs out here. It's it is. It is. the largest <laughs> RV yep. show on the planet. And everything is here it from is. toy haulers to Prevos to uh, pop tent pop-ups and anything and everything in between. The nation's top brands are here, as you can see. Uh, we're actually right here. That's the Expo Center, the massive Expo Center we just went through. And you walk out there in between two lakes and it just, <laughs> it's massive. Everybody's here. Forest River, Winnebago, Heartland, Tiffin, Integra Coach, DRV, Grand Design, Heartland, Keystone RV, Lance, Thor Motor Coach, and a, and a bunch of other places that are a bunch of newer, up and coming custom shops. You'll have everything from massive rigs like this one right here. It's a little minivan conversion. So let's go take a look. This coach right here is by a company called Show Hauler. One of those black American racing rims. Badass. This will be the third year we've done a video on spacecraft. It's a beautiful rig right here. Love the windows. The diamond tread plate on the bottom. Big giant semi trailer, tractor trailer, 22 fives. Those wheels and tires are capable of 80,000 pounds capacity. Uh, the rig weighs 45,000, so I like it's got this like double the capacity. I love the windows. Big solar panels. This is for off the grid living. Looks like it has a uh, toy hauler on the back here. I'm pretty Behind excited. The Kenward. I can't wait to, to go check this out Saturday, 4 p.m. Would you just look at this? <laughs> look at the RV reel, the hose reel. They thought of everything here. It's got a, um, I think it's called what they call a split system here. Mm hmm. It's like a residential heating system. Can you open that door, honey? Which one? This one? Diamond tread plate doors. Wow. Big, big. Now, the holding tanks on this are made out of aluminum. Why is that a great thing? Well, look at this thing. Look at it. Look at this. Volta power systems. That's pretty fantastic. The thing is, with the aluminum tanks, if plastic ones freeze, they'll, 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 they'll crack in their, their garbage. But if a metal one freezes and it cracks, no big deal. You just weld it. Look at the fenders. Look at the fenders on this thing. It's it's, it's a yeah eighth inch diamond tread plate with tractor trailer rims. Big giant. You know what? With the they've been under, under new ownership for a few years now. I think the new owner took it to another level. We're gonna find that out Saturday night. Yeah. Check this out right here. This is for, for when you yep. drag it. It bottoms out at, at all ever. Look at the quality. Look at the look at the sub the subframe of this thing. Massive, massive I beams. Wow. I can't wait to see the inside of this thing. I am excited to see this. Christy, what do you think of this spacecraft? I am excited to see this one because I think we saw the other one. Yeah, two years in a row we filmed two the spacecraft. Two years in a row, yeah. So, and it's a fifth wheel, and I really. I, it's a toy hauler. I love it. I can't, I can't wait to see how they did the layout in this. It is absolutely I like the color badass. scheme, too. What you know, it's just, uh, I mean, obviously we would probably do a little bit different, but I really like what they have on show look, here. Look at, the, look at the size of the hinges on the door. It's a feather-like quality, you know, uh, like, I don't know, feather-like cargo trailer. I like the windows. Nice chrome. LED lights. This is definitely the nicest RV here. If you want a massive I'm just commercial quality, a toy hauler. That's the everything. I'd rather I'd rather have this in a Prevost, definitely. They got these sport chassis, F450 Super Duties. This one's got a Reese 27 kick. Yeah, that's what we need. That's a big dog right there.